Hey YouTube, it's Matt with Olympus Reptiles, and today we're going to talk about does this rack suck? Had it for about, I don't know, a little over a month now, I think. We've been really using it, putting it through its paces. We've filled it. We've been able to track feeds before and after. So I'm going to kind of give you the lowdown on this rack. Now, before I do that, I do want to do a little bit of a, some self-promotion, and that is to tell you to, if you haven't joined our Patreon, to look into it. I kept telling myself I'm going to sing the virtues of that early on in the video. Uh, here's the thing, the minimum level for subscription to get the full benefits is five bucks. And like I'm going to tell all of you guys, I'm not worth five bucks. I will fully admit, I don't think I'm worth five bucks a month to listen to, but the community we've built is a positive community that has an awesome Discord that all communicates together really well and shares. And is, I don't want to say it's a completely safe space, it's still a free space, but... Uh, it's a great place to share ideas, not get beat on, learn from each other, and all kind of be a, a part of something bigger than, than us in this hobby. And it is certainly worth that, I think, on its own, even without me. So I'm extra. Join for the community, and I'll come along for free. Uh, can't beat that, right? Some free extra mat. Actually, you probably can't beat that. Most people tell me they don't want to be around me. I'm annoyed. I talk too much. But let's talk about this rack and does it suck. So first of all, and we have it set behind, right beside one of our TGRs, so you can kind of see the differences and how it's built and how it's notched, like we did in our original video. That's holding up very, very well. The stability of the rack has been superior. I mean, it's great. But none of that matters, right? I don't give, at the end of the day, I don't give a shit how pretty something is. I don't give a shit how stable something is. I don't give a shit how pretty the cuts are, and how nicely stuck together it is. I really don't care. I mean, it's nice right? They use bolts and screws and, you know, all that. Don't care. It's great, but it doesn't matter if it doesn't do a few things, if it doesn't hold humidity right and it doesn't heat right. If it can't do those things, then what is the point of the damn rack, right? Well, let's take a look, right? Let's just go through here. I'm going to share this snake with you in here. And, uh, this is a little bitty guy. He's a skinny little male right there. You can see he's kind of skinny. He's always been a little skinny, a little special. He's our Het True Ghost Spider. Uh, it was very dark. And I'm going to show you something really neat about him. Close him back up. This will tell you kind of a lot of what you know about need to know about this rack. And we've kind of seen this, not with every single snake we put in there, because there's a lot of males in here. And some of the males are just going to be males, and they're still shut down. But with this was a snake that I was not currently breeding. I would pulled him out of the project because... He was just losing too much weight. He was not eating very good at all, right? Let's look here. Crappy, 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 up a little bit. Crappy, 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 up a little bit. Crappy, 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 crappy. Oh, we did some crappy. Did a few crappy, 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 crappy. Moved him. Boom, boom, boom. Missed, but he was in shed. Boom. He eats almost every single week. He was starting to go into shed there. You know, he was finishing up there and skipped on us. But he, he's eaten all but one week in the last five weeks. So for an entire month. I don't see, I have uh, three consistent feeds. You know, I don't see three consistent feeds on the sheet. Well, right there, I have to go back till, to December of 19 to get three consistent feeds out of him again to get that same consistency was there to June. And we just haven't, or sorry, to January. We just haven't seen that. Here we're seeing it, and it was right at the change. So the point that I want to make is, obviously it's holding humidity well. It's holding heat well. I mean, you can see right now, it's right at the temp we set. It's actually a little over it because we had open stuff. We were double checking before we filmed. And it's going to run zero. Every time I check this, it's within about a degree of where I want it. Uh, never very far below. And it's not usually running much power. So it's doing a really, really good job. It wouldn't be 90.8 if we didn't have the control tub open. The control tub, I believe, is store right here. Yeah, you can see the line there. It's how we kind of ran the wire to keep it out the way. Uh, but really good. I mean, that is also a really, I don't want to keep some too long because of control, but you can see how well it does hold humidity. You're getting the condensation in the front of the tub where the cooler area is. Even back here, I haven't added anything since I set this tub up and it's not super wet, but you can see it's still damp. It's still doing good. A slight mix up in here would, it would have this tub running perfect. Um, and so like, I'm happy. And that's what really matters. You know, the thing that I really liked about the TGR racks when they came out, especially when we got to the as a Gen 2, was that they were pretty economical. You could buy them in a piece at a time, right? So you didn't have to spend thousands upon thousands of dollars uh, when you were just starting out, and they worked. They worked. They opened easy. They closed easy. They heated well. They held humidity. This thing here, 
meets all those same requirements, man. It works well. I can say that I've been using it. I've seen the improvements in the feeds for these males. They were actually coming out of a TGR FB40. One of the things on the 40s, I always have a little bit bigger gap. You can see this gap is much smaller. It matches their 70s a lot closer, which is nice. Uh, one complaint a lot of people had on the TGR ones is you could get them kind of sideways. Now that never bothered me. And I think part of that's the size of the tub. You can do it with the 40s. It's not as easy, you know. Look at that. See how wobbly that is? Uh, that was always my complaint. These, there's Apollo. He went forever and didn't eat, and now he's eating good. I mean, you can do it if you try really hard. This is a tub that's a little bit easier. You can also see we're not getting near as much shake in there, you know. So you can still be done, but I'm really having to tweak it. You see, the rack doesn't move, so it's not absorbing that. But when you open it, when you close it, I'll show you something. So if I'm pushing here, if I were to do that on, on anything else, we'll do it with 70 so you can see. If I were to push on the side as I close it, let me get that a little bit. Well, I ain't going to want to do it. Come here, push on the side. You can see it's going to gap every time, right? Here, if I push on the side, it doesn't want to gap. And that is due to there's a lot less play. I'll show you that here. See, let me hold that so we don't get... See, I'm shaking that hard. You don't see any play in the tub moving side to side. Look how much more rigid that is, too. That's nice. You come over to one of these. Just a different design. See the tub? I can hold that steady. So that is what's really helping to, if you had a problem with that side to side that's fixing it. Stability comes from here. The heat and humidity holding so well comes from a full side panel, which you could get on TGR. We didn't with our originals. We wanted to keep the same looks we didn't add and a full back panel. All in all, I'm going to tell you guys, and I like how these are stacked too with the plate. They're, they're solid. Uh, I have been extremely happy. As a matter of fact, now we've had this for a month, I do want to announce something. Uh, we've talked to Cody quite a bit. We've told him what we think of him. We ran the test he wanted us to run. You know, <laughs> we like him so much that with TGR closing, we obviously wanted to pick up a sponsorship. You're going to see pre-roll ads for these in our in our videos now. I want to tell you guys, you know, we could have went out and we could have really tried to pick up a sponsor if we wanted to just do it, and I could have done it. Uh, I have no doubt about that. We have enough views in this hobby to, we could have gotten a product to say, yeah, but I won't do that with just any product. I won't do that with a product that I'm not willing to use because I want what I think is top of the line for my animals. I really like the TGR product. I still do, but it's gone, right? It's gone. This came in to fill that gap. <laughs> and the cool thing is, I think they, they took the things they didn't like and made it better. So this is a really awesome product that's out there. You're going to get in, you're going to see it. It's going to be Pride of Texas Pythons based out of Louisiana. Uh, for now, we'll talk about that later. Pride of Texas Racks. Yeah, sorry. Pride of I said Pride of Texas Pythons, didn't I? So that's their breeding company. So Pride of Texas Racks, still based out of Louisiana, but we're going to talk about that down the road. You're going to see uh, links to their, their page for ordering. You're going to see these racks and hear us talk about them. Uh, we're going to use these pretty much exclusively moving forward. We'll still have the TGR in here because they work great, but this is what we're going to be adding as we go on. Uh, for those of you on Patreon, that brings up another point. If you are a Patreon member, guess what? With that sponsorship, you're going to get a discount through Patreon on these racks. So if you're looking for racks, that, that alone is worth it. Uh, so there you are. Cody's going to work really hard on some of the other things that people did have issues with, like lead times. Uh, he's also going to work really hard uh, on communication. But as it grows, there's going to be some growing pains, guys. This is a company that somebody started by hand. I can feel that. I understand that. So be a little patient on some of that uh, as it moves through. Kurt, anything you want to add about this rack that you've noticed? What's your feelings on it? Um, I like it. It seems to be as good and better than what we had before. Right. I mean, yeah, I, I would agree with that. I think it's more efficient. Um, and I also, I like how sturdy it is. Like, it's not clipped anything. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Not clipped anything. And that was always something I struggled with. Now, we didn't run a problem because we had all these racks clipped together, and it's like a, a wall unit, man. I mean, like, it's sturdy as can be. But I don't even have to do that here. And as I begin to do it, they are going to be like, oh, 
I guess if there was one thing I would say that you may be like, well, you know, it's going to be that if I wanted to use binder clips to attach these, I can't attach them to a middle rail because there isn't one. My plan is to actually attach them on the top. Uh, but they're sturdy enough that even attach them just on the top, I don't think we're going to have a problem. So I don't want them sticking out showing, you know. I don't really like that. I have it set up like that, but on these here, if you look, they're attached in the middle just for a little bit of a cleaner look. If you want to see what I'm talking about. You know, that's how we get these to be sturdy. We won't have to do that with these. When we do, we'll put it on the top, uh, probably near the back, just to kind of keep everything together. But that's it. So in answer, does this rack suck? It absolutely does not. It's freaking amazing. Uh, that's all I got, guys. If you need a reptile product, think of these guys first. Anything else you want to add, Kurt? No. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.